My name's Adam Dar, I'm Team Leader Signal Electrical. I've been with Sydney Trains for 15 years. As a tradesman, some of my day-to-day -day tasks is planning the works for the guys, doing the construction works leading up for the commissioning works on a weekend. Also helping uh, and assisting signal engineers test the installation. I undertook the pathway um, of the apprenticeship through Sydney Trains. There was a lot of things that appealed to me. Um, the opportunity to, to progress, the opportunity to learn different things. I wanted to be hands-on in the construction sort of area too. It gave me a perfect opportunity to do that and it also gave me the chance to learn along the way. Yeah, I'd suggest it to any, any young person looking to join Sydney Trains. I'm Scott McGuinness, currently Team Manager of Signals Mechanical. Day to day I look after every aspect of teams. So the signal mechanical, I have a bonding team, a fitter team, mechanical teams, and an airline team. We support apprentices and trainees with a lot of training. They'll get through every facet of what they've got to learn. They'll be mentored with the staff and work teams they work in. And at any time, the manager will help out where he can. Why well, work for Sydney Trains? It's a great place to work. A lot of diversity, a lot of potential to move on to other roles. And when we look for new people, we look for motivated people, people with a high respect for safety, and just keen people to learn. My name's Martin. I'm a first year apprentice at Signal Electrician. I was running a small business um, in cameras and alarms and TV antennas. So business is sort of up and down. It was just the idea of, uh, of sort of a more stable career. And really the kicker for me was learning an electrical trade. And just the ability to, as a mature age, get a skill in electrical. It's huge. In the area of signaling, which is where I'm from, I guess the simplest way to break it down is we stop trains from running into each other. We've got trains running down tracks constantly. We have to keep gaps in between them and we have to know where trains are along the way. So we've got all these different track circuits where you've got the electricity coming into the rail and coming down the rail and coming back out. So we know when a train crosses into that section and when it goes out. But when it goes into a section, it does things. It, it sets lights at red so that the next train can't come up. It's got a train stop which, which comes up, which it will activate an emergency brake for the train behind it. So signals is basically everything uh, on the track to prevent trains from running into each other. I really like working as a team, because um, being in business I was often on my own. So working with a team is really uh, good. You can learn a lot, especially from people that have been doing for a long time. Learn heaps, heaps and heaps. And heaps. That's one of the best things about it. There's so much to learn and there's so many things you can do and so many areas you can go into. It. Sydney Trains has got a lot of support. They've just got so many years of bringing apprentices through. The systems are all in place, so it's just a really well-structured environment to, to learn. So for any young kids wishing to um, embark upon an apprenticeship, I'd say absolutely go for it. No questions whatsoever. Um, I was encouraged to go to uni, which was okay, but if I'd known about this back then, I definitely would have um, done an apprenticeship. It's not just about uni there's, there's another there's another stream and it's just as good and you can there's guys that have started out as an electrical apprentice and become engineers electrical engineers so there's so many areas you can go to and you can actually start out as, a, as an apprentice and then go to uni afterwards so it's i would say absolutely 100 percent go for it it's the best honestly it's the best thing that i've done the best career move i've ever made it's just been amazing